everyone. Um, I hope you're having a good week. I just want to remind everyone that Sunday is Mother's Day, so if you have um, some time, I encourage you to make something creative and special for your mom or a woman that's special in your life. It might be an aunt or a grandma or a special friend. Um, today, I would like to read to you the book called The Sheep That No One Could Find. There was once a good shepherd who tended his sheep in a field by a mountain high green and steep. The sheep would go grazing right down to the sea. They always were happy and always were free. As long as they followed the shepherd they knew, nothing could harm them or frighten them too. Here they are with their shepherd. But one of the sheep decided one day the words of the shepherd were hard to obey. Instead, instead, he decided to do things his way. He even decided to run far away. So he snuck off alone as fast as he could over a river and into a wood. At last, said the sheep as he stood near a tree, I won't have to follow the shepherd and be like all of the others. I'll really be free. So into the valley the little sheep crossed and wandered all day until he was lost. Lost and confused, he wasn't aware a hungry old wolf had spotted him there. The wolf licked his lips and drooled at the sight. He got an idea and said with delight, I think I'll have lamb chops for dinner tonight. But in order to take the sheep by surprise, the wolf had to use a most clever disguise. He put on a sheep suit, a mask on his head, then waved to the sheep and cheerfully said, How about having some dinner with me? I live over there. Would you like to come and see? The sheep who felt lonely said in reply, I love to have dinner, just you and I. But when they arrived at the hungry wolf's lair, there wasn't a trace of food anywhere. The wolf grinned and said, there is no mistake. You see, silly sheep, I'm just a big fake. Now come over here. Don't try to go back. You are my dinner, my tasty sheep snack. The little sheep screamed and dived underneath the wolf's snapping jaws and razor sharp teeth. He raced through the forest past buzzards and bees. The wolf chased behind but got lost in the trees. Up into the mountain, the frightened sheep flew. He had no idea just what he would do, but all of a sudden he came to a stop the moment he got to the high mountain top. For blocking his path, the little sheep saw a huge angry lion who started to roar. The lion was mean and prideful and bad. He prowled through the country and always was mad. In order to show off his strength and his might, he tried to devour all the sheep in his sight. With fury he growled, how dare you come here? This is my mountain, isn't that clear? When then making a lunge with his powerful paws, he sliced at the air with his long deadly claws. The sheep backed away on the mountain's flat top, but couldn't go further or down he would drop. So he leaped on the lion and slid down his tail. He landed behind him, then ran down the trail. Far off in the distance, he, he saw a tall tree. Finally, he said, a safe place for me. He climbed up the tree and taking a chance, he crawled to the end of a thin leafy branch. At last, breathe the sheep, I'll take a short rest, and just like a bird, I'll hide in a nest. But the sheep felt so sad, I want to go home. I'm tired of being so scared and alone. I miss the good shepherd, I'd much rather be following him than stuck up in this tree. Oops, forgot to show it to you. There you go. But just at that moment, from out of nowhere, a slithering snake hung down in the air. The snake was a liar, an evil one too. The words that he spoke were always untrue. He said to the sheep, your shepherd is cruel. He'll never forgive you. Stop being a fool. 
His tongue darted out, he started to hiss. Come here, little lamb, let me give you a kiss. Come here, he repeated, come here, pretty please. I'll wrap all around you and give you a squeeze. The sheep wiggled out, he barely got free. He jumped to the ground and started to flee. The snake was behind, the little sheep knew. The wolf and the lion were chasing him too. But when he got tired and wanted to quit, he suddenly fell in a dark open pit. The sheep couldn't see, the pit was so black. Above him, the beasts were set to attack. Oh, what can I do, the little sheep sighed. I'm trapped and alone and just want to cry. I've been so confused, so wrong, and so blind. My shepherd was caring and loving and kind. I should never have left. It was all a mistake. I'm tired of wolves and of lions and snakes. But then the sheep heard a most wonderful sound. It came from above, from up on the ground. The shepherd was back. The shepherd was here. The shepherd was calling his name loud and clear. He had left all his flock for one sheep who was lost to rescue and save him no matter the cost. He trounced the huge lion, he crushed the sly snake, he flew the old wolf by his tail in a lake. Then he pulled the sheep out from down in the pit and on his strong shoulders he made the sheep sit. He carried him back with a smile that was bright to the field by the mountain. What a beautiful sight. The sheep were all glad to see their small friend. He promised to never leave them again. To the shepherd he said, I'm sorry I strayed. Forgive me for all the mistakes that I made. All is forgiven, the shepherd replied, and the sheep could detect tears of joy in his eyes. My heart is so happy, my love is so deep. Welcome back to your family. Welcome home, my lost sheep. And this is from Luke 15, 3 to 7. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. That's from John 10, 11. And I am so thankful that we have a good shepherd who loves us and will chase after us when we've gone astray too. I hope you have a wonderful week. I miss all of you so much.